A company that wants to store its carbon emissions underground held a meeting Tuesday night in an attempt to quell resident safety concerns. Wabash Valley Resources has applied for a permit for the project with the Environmental Protection Agency. But as Indiana Public Broadcasting's Rebecca Theo reports, many residents still worry about everything from pipeline leaks to earthquakes. Underground injection wells are nothing new. The company says there are nearly 18,000 of them in Indiana alone. But resident Clayt Sanquinetti says those statistics are misleading. Very few permits have been granted to inject this much CO2. Every time you guys state wells, you're saying all oh, the 180,000 wells, the 180,000 wells. No, the two wells. There's only two class six wells in this country today. The Wabash Valley project would also be bigger than the two in Decatur, Illinois. Those projects can store up to 7 million tons of CO2 combined. Wabash Valley hopes to store up to 20 million over 12 years. Residents expressed concerns that test wells for the permit were drilled on the company's property instead of the proposed injection sites. Wabash Valley Resources says it will test those sites after it receives the permit, but before it starts injecting CO2. You know, we will be doing a well on these two sites, uh, and they all have to be approved. So we'll know, you know, how the, if there's any differences, we would see it. And it's all being regulated by the EPA. For Indiana Public Broadcasting, I'm Rebecca Thiel. The EPA doesn't have a set deadline to decide whether to approve Wabash Valley Resources permit.